Mike Still here with head coach of the Vincent Massey Trojans, Kelsey McKay. Kelsey, how are you doing today? Uh, excited. You know, uh, end of training camp. Last uh, day of two days was yesterday and off to Hawaii in a couple uh, days for a week. Very nice. So I want to talk just a little bit about your history. We'll get to the Hawaii trip and, and things that you're doing at Vincent Massey in a minute. But you have a ton of history in this league, dated all the way back to Churchill High School. 19 years as a coach there, brought that team to the pinnacle of Division One. Talk to me maybe about when you started at Churchill and, and what your philosophy was like trying to build that program up and get it to the level it was at before coming to Vincent Massey. Well, you know what? I, I, um, I was an assistant for 13 years at Churchill for the first six with Brian and the last seven under Jerry Banovich and uh, learned a lot from those two gentlemen and uh, you know I played for Brian at Churchill and Jerry was an assistant so there was a lot of um, sort of continuity uh, of pride and tradition and, and uh, you know good team ca uh, values and character stuff and, and uh, you know football's a great game and I got lucky to actually go to Churchill High School and have Brian Doby as a coach. And, and I've tried to instill a lot of that in our program there. So then the last six years, I had an opportunity to be a head coach. And, um, you know, it, that, was a, that was a great, uh, it, was, it was a great experience sort of taking over and, and especially at my old high school. And, uh, you know, continue with that pride and tradition and, and uh, really taking it to the next level and, and winning a couple championships in our time there. Moved to Vincent Massey in 2009, a decade. Now this program has been in existence from the ground up. Talk to me about maybe some of the things that you tried to implement right from the start and, and what the process has been like to get this team to the point where you've now won two Division One championships, including being the defending champs from last year. Well, you know, uh, you know, 11 years ago, Principal Martin brought, asked me to come over and start a program from scratch. They never had a high school program in Fort Gary. And, and uh, he really liked sort of the leadership character stuff we did at, at, Vince, at uh, Churchill. And it took a while. It took a couple of years for people to sort of buy into sort of where we're at. That, I mean, we've always thought that our program is exactly that as a program. It's not a team. It's not two teams. And, you know, there's, it's sort of a bigger picture. You just don't show up to practice, go home, come to the game, go home. It's sort of, it's sort of an identity. And it's sort of, you're representing your school, your community, your family, and all the things that go into being successful. And the winning part has taken care of itself because we're take, we're, we do our best to teach, to coach these young men and for them to, to do their best. And then the winning takes care of itself. So, I mean, that's sort of where we're sort of, we're at. We're, we're excited that, you know, in 10 years, you know, we ended up, what, ranked six in Canada. Um, we won a couple Div 1 champs, championships, and, and it's it's exciting. And now we have a number of guys playing at this youth sports level out of our program, and it's it gives a lot of these guys a lot of, to, to build on and goals that they can also reach those. Certainly, we see quite, quite, saw quite a few recruits even from this past year going to the Bisons now, which is very exciting to see for the future of your program for sure. Let's talk about the 2019 season. Really exciting. You bring in a lot of guys from the JV team that was undefeated and also still have a number of guys back from last year's undefeated Div 1 championship team. Uh, how exciting is that for you to sort of have those guys that know what it takes to win uh, both at the JV and the varsity level? Well, you know, it's it's we're a very young team. But at the same time, uh, we're a very experienced team and both levels, like mo the majority of the guys behind us here in practice didn't lose a game last year. But they didn't, like, no one just gave it to them. They actually had to earn it. They had to work hard every single day. And yeah, talent and experience counts. But we definitely have, for a young team, a lot of experience. And, and we're excited for these guys. I mean, there's a lot of future youth sports guys, you know, on the team in grade 11 and 12. And, you know, and there's a couple even grade 10s on the line, you know, that they're going to be really, really good. So we're really excited for the year. I mean, you never know. I mean, with the youth comes the unpredictability. And uh, so every game is going to be a tough one. I always say to these guys, when you're defending champs, regardless of the level, you're getting everybody's A game because they all know where you are on the calendar. and. Uh, we're expecting, uh, we're expecting everybody's best, and so we got to practice like it every single week. Let's talk a little bit about this trip you guys do to Hawaii. Not the first time you're doing it this year. Maybe talk to me about the history of when that started, why you do it, and the value it has for your players. Uh, honestly, this, this is literally why we do the trips. 1986. I'm in grade 11. Okay, so I'm old. We know that. <laughs> 1986. Brian Doby, Paul Normando, Dennis Fenton. You know, and the coaches, my teachers at Churchill, took me and my teammates from Churchill to go play Sir Winston Churchill in Calgary, Alberta. 
and we took a bus. We call it, we still, everybody says the hell bus. Everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about from back then. It was crazy. We'd never been on a bus ride that long. It stunk. I mean, it's all high school guys. And, and we had such a great time. We went to Banff, you know, we played the game in McMahon Stadium against Sir Winston Churchill. I mean, it was such a great experience. And I always thought, you know, if I had an opportunity to be a head coach, I would do the same and hopefully, you know, uh, our guys would get the same kind of experience and the same great memories to be with their friends from high school, people they grew up with, to do stuff like that. You know, our, our main goal here at, at Massey is the same that it was when I was at Churchill. When these guys graduate, and I know it doesn't go 100% for everybody, I want them to think that in this program, it was something special that they were a part of. It wasn't just another team. And I want them walking out going, man, that was awesome. 20 years from now, man, that was awesome. So when we got here, you know, we said, let's see what we can do. So 2011, went and visited my uh, good friend Jeff Steinberg out in L.A. at the San Diego Sharks. And, uh, and then 2013, we went to Hawaii and played the Lillahua Mighty Mules. And the head coach and I are, are uh, still good friends. He actually helped set us up with uh, the last two trips to Hawaii, 2015 to the Big Island against Kalekahe. Uh, Wave Riders, love that name, by the way. <laughs> Great. And the field, look down and there's the ocean. Like, fantastic facility. And then we went to Italy and we played a, a, a team from a U.S. Army base because they, all the Army bases out there have high school football teams. They're pretty much little cities and they play against each other in all the different countries. And so we played a team from Naples, Italy, spent some time in Rome. You know, we walked to the top of Mount Vesuvius. I almost died. You know, it's 30 degrees that day. But what a fantastic experience for all the boys. And here we are. So every two years we go somewhere. So now we're going back to Oahu. We're going to play the Waialua Bulldogs. Uh, they're on the North Shore. And uh, we're really excited. We get in Thursday night and we're going to play right away on Friday. And then we're going to spend the next six days, you know, in, in sort of immersing ourselves in, in the culture, in uh, Polynesian culture in Hawaii. We're in a beautiful hotel right on Waikiki Beach. We're going to practice on the beach. You know, how cool is that? You know, we're going to practice under the, the shadow of Diamond Head Crater all week. And, you know, it's going to be pretty cool for the guys that are going on these trips. Absolutely. Well, all the best. Wish you luck with that, Kelsey. It's going to be an amazing time. The players are going to remember it the rest of their lives. And uh, yeah, a great primer for the season ahead. Absolutely. Really appreciate all the time with you today, yeah. Kelsey. All the best. Absolutely. Thank you.